in the movie Monsters, Inc., those doors were four-dimensional portals. They take the doors home, they open the door, and they're in the closet of the kid that they're going to terrorize. That is what access to the fourth dimension looks like. So here's the example. We've got a nice broad desk. Desk is two dimensions, and I can start putting papers on this desk. If I'm an ant living in this surface of the desk, I say, no more room, but wait a minute. We are three-dimensional people, and I can put an organizer and stack things vertically. The ant will say, where did it go? Oh my gosh! You would have made that paper disappear into a third dimension. So now let's up this example by a dimension. You're storing boxes in a room. Oh, I ran out of room. No, you didn't. Let's open this four-dimensional door. You open it, put the boxes through the door, close the door, box is gone. That is a portal to a fourth dimension that can hold vastly more content than what you're stuck storing in the three-dimensional space of your room. I'm not judging the biophysiology of these creatures, but they got the physics of four-dimensional portals completely accurate.